Bitcoin roars back as uh, Russia makes it legal to start mining Bitcoin again. I'd say that's another point for the bulls and reiterating our stance that uh, traditional markets are looking fairly bullish and in for a bounce off of this 200 simple at the very first pass. And <clears throat> the question is, well, lower, higher, not in the stock market. And Bitcoin's already made it up to the 0.5 in the 618. Uh, but traditional markets have not. So <clears throat> does that move uh, have a little bit more? I, I think, yeah, we could stretch it up a little bit higher. In fact, uh, <clears throat> well, let's take a look at CMEs, in fact. The gap down and the gap up. Now we have officially filled the gap, and now we've got a little gap in the middle and a little silver cross. So we're coming right into the 618. You probably uh, expect a quick rejection on the first pass. And uh, the question is, do we close back below the 382 at 50, 57,630? Um, that would, you know, lead me to the bias. Again, we're going to fill this wick about halfway full before making it onwards and upwards. But on the other side of the fence, you do have the cone shape we discussed, which would look a little bit more like this. Um, you know, megaphone, cone, whatever you want to call it. But this formation typically ends with um, a rally back to the top side of the range, <clears throat> a rally back here, a little bit of a stutter step, and then bang, a breakout. And that's exactly what we'd be looking for on the other side if we were going to get bullish. And, you know, again, first warning signs is, you know, closures back above the 618, a higher low in this zone, a higher low above the white 200 simple, and I'm going to start to get, you know, more on the bullish side again. Uh, but I want to remind myself, you know, some of the higher term time frame stuff that is in, in effect or um, <clears throat> being nullified. <laughs> in effect or being nullified as uh, the five day is going to close here. And if we can close a five day back above this wick, above, you know, 63,500, that's going to look good for this uh, playing out to be a bounce and back to the top side of the range, as we discussed. Um, other than that, um, I did want to bring up the monthly time frame. Once again, the month is going to close this month. And if we can close this month back above kind of this critical uh 60, call it 65, 66,000, back above 66,000 on the monthly. That's going to be very, very bullish on the other side of the fence. Um, and again, expecting that rate cut, as long as there is no, you know, war between now and uh, the next rate cut, you know, some sideways chop to be expected and then continuation. Uh, <clears throat> other than that, because the monthly time frame has the potential to roll over. And if we do close anywhere below 56,000, that would be on the bear side. And I'd just be looking to accumulate, um, you know, uh, and, and essentially accumulate in this zone between uh, 48 and 40,000 bucks. If we get a chance to accumulate over the next 30 days, somewhere along this uh, <clears throat> trend line, that's going to look good also. You know, again, sideways chop in the summer, uh, sideways chop after the halving, and the real breakout will be the resolution of this range, whatever it is. Um, all right, I think I'm going to leave you with that. A little bit of a shorter one today, guys. I'll be back again tomorrow. Make sure you hit the like button, smash the uh, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.